Casey Thren here, Complete Deer Management. Look at this, uh, about a five acre deer sanctuary we, we made. Coming down, I come in here and just started cutting trees. Cutting trees down, this was about two years old. Uh, I think this is the third winter. And this year, this winter is kind of come back in, I'm kind of cleaning these trails up and marking them so we can come back in here in July and be able to tell where the trails are so we can mow them and get the deer steered in here. So a lot of the properties I go on, almost all of them need some sort of timber management. A lot of the big tree has a lot of big trees, a lot of canopy, which means canopy shades out the ground. A deer's world is chest down. You know, they can get on their hind ends and, and, and reach things, but if you were walking through this and as a human, it's hard to get through. It looks like shit. And, you know, it's like, oh my God, I can't believe I have a mess here. And like, here is the, uh, this brush and stuff that trees just kind of knock down blocking this food plot in here there's a blind over there to humans this might again look bad but we're not the ones that live here deer live here we live in houses we eat meat we cook food we're predators and we like finer things in life this is what deer like this mess through here I'm crouching down now. This is a deer's world right here. I have a nice lane I'm walking through. There's food on it. I can reach things. Right now, March 4th, my diet is consistent 90%, near 90% of woody browse, which is this stuff right here. This is a maple. Those buds right there are candy. Well, they're not candy because candy's not nutritious. But that's meat and potatoes right there. And I got this bedding area in here that humans don't like. So as a deer, I like it. Why do deer run away from humans? Why do deer take off when they see a truck, a voice, human voice? They take off. There's a new study out. This is... Uh, I think it was Mississippi State University, did it? I'll put a link to that study. They ran a bunch of different sounds uh, on trail cameras and got the deer's reaction. The number one sound that the deer did not like and took off is human voice. Why do they run away from us? Because we kill them and we always have from the very beginning of time. Why do dogs, why can we tame dogs? Wolves, wild animal. But humans can tame them. Humans can actually tame deer. Cows, same thing. They're a little bit more genetically off uh, a tolerating human because we feed them. Why are deer a little bit less? Like if you you see deer, you know, put, people put collars on them and you can feed them out of their hand even though they're wild deer. Some wild game are like that. Most of the time it's does and fawns. Does are more tolerant of humans. Does don't care for, about food as much. Well, why do bucks don't? It's a question you got to ask yourself when you're going, man, I just don't like the looks of that. Look at it. It looks like crap. I don't want to cut. Look at all those tops. Look at, you know, if getting, if daylight didn't get down to here, we wouldn't have all these little shoots of all this deer food around here, making it nice and thick and pretty in here for the deer. And that way, humans, we can come in here and try to shoot them. Or at least we're providing them a hotel that's as safe as possible. And we're trying to trick them so we can shoot them. It's essentially what it is. But if we don't do this, the deer weren't even using it before. Now we made it pretty thick. <coughs> and again, we're doing improvements on it. But their tracks in through here right now is all over the place. There's bedding all over the place. We're just going to do some improvements to make it even better 
And uh, I just wanted to say that today is a hunter or landowner, you know, what is your goals and objective? If it's deer number one, then this is what you got to do. If it's not and you want a nice place to look at, nice park to play in as a human, lots of nice shade and whatnot, well, okay, fine. But don't complain about your deer hunting if that's what you're going to have on your land. Hey, God bless. Thanks for watching. A little, uh, sorry if I was raising my voice. I'm not yelling at you. I'm just kind of passionate about this. God bless you.